Hi, I'm Dan, I'm from Be Gone, and today we're going to go up onto the scaffold and we're going to see if the, the, there's bees in the roof. This time we're checking a dormer roof. Uh, the customer has told us that there aren't any bees there, so we're just going to go up and double check before we start work just to make sure there is or there isn't. So we've come up onto the scaffold and as you can see we've removed the tiles and exposed where the colony used to be. Um, unfortunately we've had some sad news and it looks like the bees have been treated. You can see all the white powder in the corner here. See all the white powder, that's insecticide and then they've squirted expanding foam in to try and prevent the bees from entering back into the void or any new bees. And if that was full of honey and a local beekeeper had bees, the bees would come in here, they'd drop down through the ridge, they'd steal the honey that was in here that's mixed with the insecticide, they'd then go back to their colonies, and then the honey that they've stolen from this old hive has now contaminated the beekeeper's honey, which someone like yourself who likes honey, thinks it's great to go to a beekeeper, you're now eating honey that's now contaminated with an insecticide that you don't know about. colony, I would say, is at least 25, 20, maybe even 30 years old. Um, and unfortunately, this would have been a really nice one to take out. We've got really nice bits of bits of comb that would have been perfect to frame up. See, there's even a bit of honey in this one. Yeah. Really sad, but you know, this is, this is what we're about. We're about educating people and telling them that we should save the bees and, and not do things like this. Uh, this colony would have been a really nice one to keep in a, in a hive, because uh, if they survive this long, then clearly she's, she was a good layer. I mean, you've got lovely comb structure. So this is what we call wax moth. They are attracted to wax and they will also invade a colony that's been treated or one that has been abandoned. And what can happen is these guys will lay uh, wax moth larvae, which as you can see on that comb, that's, what, that's, the, that's the, um, the larvae doing that. And then what can happen is when they turn into moths, you get an infestation of moths inside of your house, your chimney, all for the sake of just treating the bees. So these guys will only eat wax, but um, it's not very nice when you have a house full of moth. So always get your bees removed properly, and then this will also prevent any issues like what's happened here. You can get wax moth if some of the burr comb is left behind. That's normal, but you won't get the extent because obviously the wax is their food source and then you get wasps as well that are after any residue left over. So you might get an invasion of wasps in the property as well. We've rebuilt the roof. We put the bonnet tiles, the roof tiles, and the ridge tiles back on, on top of the dormer. We put the valley tiles in as well, and we've also put new felt in uh, for where the bees had damaged it previously. The comb's all been removed internally, and it's also been proofed with insulation to prevent the bees coming back again. 
and uh, this will now be bee proof and weatherproof. Uh, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.